Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dhamiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to write JSON data from a parameter or a variable to the blob storage file. So this is a very actually common scenario and I was taking a look uh, and uh, there are not tons of uh, examples available and uh, especially the case comes when the people uh, try to write this uh, JSON uh, uh, to the blob storage file, uh, what happened? It uh, add this uh, backslash. So that uh, uh, also, you know, create a lot of problem. I spent like few hours, maybe five to six hours uh, to kind of figure this out uh, how to handle this uh. so now uh, in this scenario what we are going to do we are going to write this so this is my uh, json sample database uh, data not database uh, this is my sample uh, json data and uh, just to see that uh, let me take all the way at the end uh, and uh, uh, it has my name and uh, then a few other names and I'm going to validate first. Um, so I'm going to go to the JSON online validator somewhere and uh, then click there and it is uh, telling me, hey, your JSON is valid JSON. So now what I want to do in the Azure Data Factory, I would like to save this um, in some variable. First of all, I'm going to save this in parameter and then set to the variable and then write to the file. And uh, I'm going to take care of the backslash part as well because of that every time people get from the web uh, uh, activity or something, uh, then uh, they try to write to the file uh, to create those backslashes. So uh, let's see if we can take care of that part as well. So open Azure Data Factory. Here we are going to create a new pipeline. My throat is hurting, so just to let you guys know, I'm not really feeling great today, So, but I'm going to keep going. Um, so here is uh, my pipeline, and I'm going to create a new pipeline pipeline right here and uh, let's create a uh, parameter and uh, again as I said that uh, this uh, output could be coming from a web activity or anywhere and uh, you have saved into the variable in my case I'm going to start with the parameter so I I'll call this parameter uh, my parameter and uh, in this uh, and in my parameter I'm going to have it this as a string so I'm going to just paste this uh, all the values there so you can see right there this this is the same values I copied up from here and just pasted it there now what I want to do I want to create another variable so I'm going to create my variable and the uh, variable and then uh, I'm going to leave this one as a string as well no there is no default value first of all uh, I would like to get uh, the copy actually set variable why I'm mean, doing this one because maybe you are getting the data from the web activity and then you saved into variable and then finally write to the your uh, file that's one of the things you want to do so there could be multiple scenarios I'm trying to make it a little uh, more usable so if the values are flowing between different activities or from parameter to the variables so at least you know that what I'm doing so here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on variables and here it is my variable and I'm gonna set this uh, value to the uh, our parameter so right there and uh, hit OK now this looks all good and the next part is that uh, we are gonna get a copy activity now what we, I will do I would like to write this uh, copy activity uh, data from my variable to the blob storage so here is uh, my source and uh, I'm gonna go to the source uh, now this is one of the thing I would like to tell you so in this case uh, you have to create some template file with some uh, data so in my case uh, what I did I went to the my blob storage I went to one of my container called input uh, and uh, I have created a file and it's a text.txt uh, file so if you click right there it has uh, no, uh, only one value it says my test column that's all it has why because uh, uh, without doing that I don't know what to do so I need a, te a template file that I will try to read from there and meanwhile I will try to write to my output container I will insert the value of my variable so that's what I'm doing right there okay so create this a template file just leave that there you don't need to delete or you don't have to do anything with that but uh, without the, that uh, template file uh, I, I was not able to perform this demo so if you send like a, I, I can actually show you at the end, I will delete the file and it will throw us error. Okay, so so now what we are gonna do, you're gonna go to the source here and in the source, so we are gonna create a, a data set, right? So we will go to Azure Blob Storage and here in the Azure Blob Storage, we are gonna go to the CSV file. Okay, so that's our CSV file. And here is my, uh, let, let me create actually new uh, uh, link service. So you would know that. So I'm selecting my blob storage here okay not a big deal so it's called Azure blob storage 2 it's all good go to the browse input folder 
and the input folder has that template file that has only one value and we don't have to say first row has header we don't have to do that and leave this import schema and everything as it is okay hit okay and now what we are going to do we are going to add additional column that's where actually the whole trick works so we are going to go to the additional column and here what i'm going to do i'm going to add that new column i'm going to call this column my column and now in this case what i would like to do add dynamic contents so i will be using my variable value now this is all good here and uh, what we will do go, we will go to sync now and in the sync uh, we are going to make a connection uh, to the azure blob storage and uh, to the csv file now you guys will say hey you are not creating a json file why you are not creating json file no i can create a csv file and just uh, i have few things to handle there because in the json i was not able to handle because the escape character the single quotes double quotes and all that i was able to handle more in the uh, delimited file but uh, at the end i will show you you will be still creating a json file that will be valid json file okay so go for csv and here you are going to do one thing now you're going to go to the uh, our blob storage and here we don't have to say first row has header because we want to write the whatever the value is in the variable we want to just dump it there now you select uh, your output container and hit okay leave this guy as it is hit okay now we go to open and here i can provide the file name now when i can always say my output dot json okay so we can have extension as a json because it's going to contain the data that is a json data okay so we are fine here let me take back uh, to the our pipeline and here is our pipeline now we are going to go to the mapping and in the mapping i'm going to say import schemas now when, once i do hey it's asking me there is some value you need to provide for the variable why not so tech brothers tutorial it tutorials okay that's the value now i hit okay now what happened uh, is uh, bring in a couple of column this is a one column remember that we have only one value there so it brought as there is no column name so it brought one for that and let's click on that one and delete we don't need that and now this is my column that's the one we created in the source as an additional column see right there my column so that's the column that's what we need and then this is going to be okay to have is leave, leave this one as a string as we are not putting as a column headers so column one this does not mean anything to us we are actually importing the data only or exporting the data only okay so let's go back back to sync and you can see right there uh, we are all good here as i was saying we are not doing any first row as a header so we are good let's me go back to the pipeline and now what we are going to do we are going to create a debug this uh, pipeline so you see that in my parameter i have all those json uh, type of values right there i'm going to hit okay the very first thing uh, what happened it failed now this is a kind of a not a that great thing because uh, look at this so uh, let's let's take a look on there so it's saying hey this is your uh, variable name my variable yeah value employee this is this this is tons of the json values so you're trying to set in that yes and it is saying that the my variable of type string cannot be initialized or updated with the value of type object so it recognized it somehow like oh those are values you are trying to put they are not really string they are kind of json values so that's a problem right so let's go back there so see even uh, my parameter is string but uh, the values uh, it saved is not a string type uh, so that's the problem okay no problem we are going to go to the set variable again and here i'm going to do some trick uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to put uh, curly parentheses uh, at the end and before after the at the rate sign so what it will do it will convert uh, all these values what we have there uh, into the string uh, now this uh, adds uh, one bad thing to it but that i'm going to show you guys so hit okay now now you see that see it added all these backslashes to it so once i converted my json to the string um, in the from the parameter to the variable and added all those backslashes and uh, uh, that's a trouble for me now if i will uh, let it go all the way so it is going 
and now it has written to the copy activity so you see right there it has uh, put one row there now that's uh, but all these uh, let me show you this input so see right there employees everything yeah, it has uh, this escape character or backslash so that's uh, not really nice let's go to output take a look here in the output and we can go to edit and we can see right there so it everywhere this uh, backslashes are there but uh, our actual uh, JSON was something like this uh, very beautiful without no backslashes and all that right that's what you want okay so let's delete this one anyways I will bring some nice data to validate let's go back here and what we are gonna do we are gonna go to copy activity we are gonna go to sync and in the sync we are gonna click open once we click open we are gonna play here with a few things so, now first of all uh, what we are gonna do we are gonna go to the escape character here backslash and I'm going to say hey no escape character once I do that it also if I will try to debug here is a let's see what it say it says code character should be no code character when no escape character is set okay fine I, I heard you so I'm gonna go back here and I am going to set double quotes as a no code character as well okay fine now we are all good here let's debug and in this case I'm expecting a nice output like a JSON so right here you see still we have these backslashes and then in the output uh, you still have them okay you are uh, when you're writing a uh, copy activity you know you still have it and once uh, they are finally written to the destination you don't have them so I'm going to show you right there go to the our output folder or container here is our output.json and edit now you see that a beautiful JSON format is still waiting for us I'm going to control a I'm going to copy bring to the JSON online paste it there and then I'm going to hit valid validate JSON and look at the beautiful JSON right there so you're all good here right it says valid JSON so that's all we had and if I go back to the my this guy you can see right there we can compare you know hmm so uh, let me see if I can just copy paste there you know it's the same JSON anyways so you there is no need to be uh, worry about the, <laughs> that is <laughs> right here so you will do validate JSON you can see right there see this is same JSON on top and bottom okay so finally we were able to write the data to the file we call it JSON it's not looking at JSON it's not the JSON output but you say well like I say oh in my sync I'm gonna select the JSON file no you will select the uh, CSV file but you can give the name to the JSON so to, if you want to read this file as a JSON let's say if I will bring another copy activity here and now it's a valid uh, JSON uh, I don't know <laughs> I, I go somewhere like you know two parts I'm done like I, I start somewhere and then I end up uh, you know um, okay so if I will go to JSON here now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the blob storage and here are my container um, in the it's loading so go to the output and output dot JSON and uh, see right there okay hit okay and now if I would like to go to the let's say in the sink so let's preview the data so see right there told you I tricked it so I told the uh, Azure Data Factory I'm creating a, a CSV file I put the name output.json and inside that is my JSON beautiful JSON so I read that in front of you and made sure the data is coming correct okay so you learn how it work I hope uh, this tricks uh, will help you to do some adventure you know and thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort I will see you guys in the next video